just a quick uh, little demonstration on how to use the website and what it's like with the website. Uh, I am, I this is this is honestly my first time uh, with the website, so it's kind of uh, a learning process. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, kind of show what it's like, and uh, there are probably better tutorials out there. All right, so I'm making this video to just show you guys a, a brief way of how to uh, use the website Play Diplomacy Online. Um, and uh, it's not really a video showcasing uh, how to play Diplomacy, but just kind of how to use the website uh, for people who are using the website for the first time. Uh, so we're just going to make a game name and we're going to make it so that friends only join make a password and we are going to be selecting random countries we're going to uh, be anonymous countries so we don't know who anyone is <clears throat> we're going to make the number of players two players just for right now just for demonstration purposes and then uh, we'll keep everything else the same. Normally uh, we would pick either a 12 hour uh, deadline or a 24 hour deadline um, but there are other, are other options here and we'll click standard and standard. So on this screen you can see that you're just waiting for all of the players to join. Now that uh, all the players have joined it now uh, gives us uh, the option to confirm that we are ready to play. So I will go ahead and confirm participation. Once uh, everyone has confirmed the participation, then the game will begin. All right, looks like all players have confirmed the participation. And now you can see in the top, uh, top left corner here, this tells you as uh, who you are playing as. Um, it has given me three different uh, uh, territories to control because this is only a two-player game. But, uh, you know, just depending on how many players are in your game uh, depends on how many uh, places you uh, will be playing as. And you can look uh, at the kind of corners of the map here, and that will tell you which color uh, uh, is which uh, country. And uh, in the right over here, you can see the time left until this turn ends. Because this is the first turn, um, uh, we have 24 hours to complete this turn. Um, but on the second turn, it will go down to 12 hours, uh, which is what we uh, selected. And we start in the spring, but uh, the next turn will be in the fall and then it will go back to the spring, only it'll be the spring of 1902, and then the fall of 1902, and so on and so forth. Uh, so you only uh, get uh, new territories if you end your turn in the fall of, of that time period. Say so that, for instance, I am playing as Turkey right now, so I can send this uh, this naval unit, I can go ahead and click move him to the Black Sea, just like that. And so he has orders to move to the Black Sea now. We can take this tank unit and we will move him to Bulgaria. And uh, this tank unit, we will move we will move him uh, up to Constantinople. And now you can see that we don't really have a, a, a confirmation about any of our orders here, but if you go to show, show order graphics down here, it then shows you all the different moves uh, that your units have uh, made. You can also go up to messages up here and then you will be able to message people, uh, individual uh, countries, 
uh, or uh, a big group country message. And this is our little email message box center. We have an inbox, we have a sent, uh, we can sort by all the different uh, places, or we can go back to all, we can compose a message and send that to everyone or no one. And you can see who uh, people have CC'd in the uh, messages as well. You can also go to public press here. This will allow you to uh, this will allow you to uh, talk uh, openly uh, to everyone. Um, you can choose to either uh, state your country uh, that you are, or you can post anonymous, anonymously um, over here. When you go to public press, click it, this box will appear over here. And this is just a place where you can post it's basically a group chat with all of the countries you can post as your nation. And you see it shows that I, Austria, and gives me the time uh, that I did everything and the post that I made, and everyone will be able to see that, all of the players playing the game. Or you can click this little box right here and uh, nobody uh, will know who is saying this. And you post it. And you see that it gives you uh, the timestamps still, but nobody knows who said this. So that is a way to uh, share anonymous details with uh, the, the whole group. For instance, we will also go ahead and move Austria's tank here, and we will move Germany's tank here, and then just click show order graphics to make sure that those orders went through, and it looks like they did. Alternatively, you can click this menu-based order entry. So you see that I clicked uh, this menu-based entry button and this uh, screen pops up. And there you can, uh, you can also just adjust uh, your things if you prefer to do it this way instead of clicking uh, on the map. See the orders that I already put through the map are already come up here. You can click Submit Orders here. So obviously we did our, uh, we submitted uh, our moves through this menu based uh, entry. You can just as easily click these guys, move them uh, into other territory like so and it will again confirm with the show order graphics and then when you are done with your turn you can go up to orders and you can say finalize orders. This is all the moves that I want to do in this turn. We still have 23 hours left, but I'm going to finalize these orders. And you see not everyone is done with their turn. So uh, there's still, uh, I, if I want, I can still again change these orders just if I well actually he can't move there uh, and it tells me so right here in in this little thing but uh, I can move him to the Baltic Sea and there you go now he's the orders have been updated and then I just go back and finalize the orders again now if all uh, if all players have finalized their orders then the uh, uh, new turn should start. So yes, um, a, a quick a quick summary of the game is uh, you are trying to get 18 of these supply centers, these uh, little territories with stars in them. Uh, so uh, each unit you have is uh, has a power of one. The navy units, they can move in 
uh, the ocean and along the coast, so any of these coastal territories, but they cannot go into land territory. Uh, these tanks, uh, they can move in land and coastal regions, but they cannot go into the sea. If you want to move uh, uh, a tank to a different um, uh, territory that you have to go through water, then you put your boat into the sea and then you uh, take your tank and uh, you uh, convoy over uh, the boat to the other island. Um, and so that's how you would move armies across oceans. Uh, 